Hello world, I am What If Studia, and this is going to be an interesting one. I, I, I know that you can draw a lot of uh, sort of connections between this one and what if the Z fighters train together, but this will be different as it is just the humans training together. Don't not worry. However, they will start out, yes, training with Goku. So I believe that we start off um, the beginning of our story as the Z fighters did, as Goku... Uh, defeating King Piccolo, and continuing on to uh, heal up Yamcha, with Yamcha's leg. And also going over to get the power pole to get up to the um, top of the tower. As Tien waits for Goku, he gets kind of bored, um, sort of flying up there himself, cheating. Um, Korn warns him of the danger of doing this as um, he lands on the top, uh, Popo and Kami sort of uh, are surprised by this intruder. And Tien demands to be trained, and K Kami says, well, first you'll have to get through Popo. This would not go well for Tien, as Popo seemingly has infinite strength to, po to Tien. Unable to beat um, Popo directly, Tien decides to knock him off of the tower, as Popo doesn't seem to be able to fly. He knocks Popo out of the tower with a uh, uh, spamming Dodon do, um, do rays after um, distracting him with a multi-clone, tipping over Popo and making him fall. Kami surprised by this actual defeat of Popo. Kami um, teleports Bo Popo back up to the tower and commends Tien for outsmarting him. And says, yeah, okay, you'll be trained then. So Tien actually begins his training much earlier in this arc. While, you know, Goku's going out and getting all the Z fighters. I did this because, well, I mean, Tien was impatient before, and I want him to learn much more, uh, you know, patience. And strategery. I want to make a much more evidence of that. So, Goku goes out and picks up um, Yamcha and uh, Krillin. Well, no, actually, Krillin. No, he, he tells Krillin to come up to the, to the lookout. Yes, that's, that, that's right, that's right. Um, Krillin getting this idea, actually, um, after they revive Chiaotzu, um, and Roshi, uh, I believe that, uh, he invites, uh, Chiaotzu to come up to the, uh, lookout with them. Now, Chiaotzu goes along with this, as does Roshi, as he would like to meet this Kami. Perhaps even be introduced. To the god of this world. I think many people want to, want, to, want to take that option. So basically, you know, Roshi goes up to the lookout with them, as does um, Chiaotzu, and once they get up, it's been about, what, two months to find um, Yamcha, I mean, Tien, fighting against uh, Popo. Um, once all of them get there, you know, they pass the test against Popo. Um, much easier than Tien, but cannot get past his brute strength. Tien will not tell them how he did it, so they get beaten. But, you know, um, um, individually, after they fight him individually, you know, they all pass the test, basically. They, um, Kami agrees to train them, and they start their uh, three years training before the next tournament, um, tournament arc. Um, since they spent all this time training, I would give it... Uh, so they can they start their training with the weights and plus they're all together so that would mean that they get even more of a power up. So there's a lot of power up shit going on here and I feel like they all kind of bond during this like they all start to become you know like pretty good friends especially with Goku being so like you know happy and you know accepting for everybody especially Jien as he thought that nobody would accept him as like you know kind of a friend again. So basically you know uh, Goku I feel like would get the strongest. He'd be around 600? Maybe? 600 sounds right. Yeah, 600. Um, Tien being around 550, roughly. I'm just going to round these down to like 50s and 100s because I have zero clue. Um, Yamcha and Krillin are actually around 500. Um, 510 for Krillin because he, he started out a little bit stronger than Yamcha. But Yamcha and Tien have started to become better than, you know, before. <laughs> um, 
Chaozu becoming around 400, but that's really good for Chaozu. And Roshi getting in on, on the action, becoming 250, but that's not that bad. That's really good for, for Roshi. Um, Roshi um, meets King Kai at this time, and you know, you know, they have some jolly gander together, <laughs> as they're both teachers and uh, love uh, having students of the like. So, you know, uh, Kami starts to get idea of a second person being, you know, the the guy. But Roshi gyps out of, of a lot of times, you know, just visiting Earth and shit. You know, how Roshi do be doing, though? So, basically, at the end of the, of the years, um, Tien says that he'll, he'll meet uh, um, Goku on the tournament, and we start out the tournament. So, basically, Goku and... Uh, um, Goku and Tien meet all of their people, you know, launch meeting freaking Tien for the, uh, again, gets really mad at him for, you know, not being at for her, not being able to find him, even though she searched the whole entire world. Uh, Chi Chi demanding a fight against Goku, and everybody reuniting. Um, so then, uh, wait, doesn't Chaozu rig the, f yeah, Chaozu still rigs the fights. Um, I think everything goes the same. So basically, Goku. So Goku versus Chi Chi goes the same way. Uh, Chi Chi start um says that he'll marry her, and he does. Um, he agrees to this and shit. So basically, after that is uh, uh, Tien versus uh, that guy, Chao, um, Mercenary Tao, right? Um, Cyborg Mystery Tao, it goes the same, still giving, you know, Tien that scar, but Tien just instantly destroys his, you know, robotics, um, after defeating Mercenary Tao. Uh, up next is, I believe that actually Kami, instead of wa um, wanting to test his, you know, student's skill and stuff, actually participates in the tournament himself. This time, not even cloaking his identity, but instead just putting on a mustache and some shit and some, like, mascara or some, something to make himself look like a human. Basically, not much trying, so that he, not holding a form, so he's actually more powerful. So, he's up against um, Yamcha first, so basically, I feel like he actually wins this time because he has, he has much more power. So, basically, he, he defeats um, Yamcha and is very proud of his student for actually getting this far against him as he is nearly defeated by his own student. Very proud of him. They go on to the next battle where uh, Tien would fight Goku. Now, Goku versus Tien is a destructive battle. Um, uh, the battle before it where Piccolo had... However, Krillin is still a little bit weaker than Piccolo. But this time, Krillin... You remember, Krillin is a smart fighter. He will not go down so easily, even though there's a power gap of about 50 between them. He will not go down. So he uses um, the special paralyzing beam that, you know, uh, freaking Roshi school has taught him, and then um, slices Piccolo in half with a freaking do with a Kienzan, <laughs> throwing blood everywhere and making everybody just be like, holy shit, Krillin. <laughs> just like, wasn't he supposed to be the villain? <laughs> so basically, Piccolo is defeated much earlier. Um, Krillin goes on to fight Yamcha, which is a very interesting fight, um, although I believe that Krillin would beat Yamcha due to Krillin being much more of a tactical fighter and also not depending on one technique to house his whole entire fighter thing. So basically, I feel like Krillin would win that. Going on to fight, uh, what would it be? Between Goku and Tien, I feel like Goku would win. Uh, just because he's a little bit more powerful in this part. And they're both kind of strategic. No, actually, Yamcha, Tien would actually win. Holy shit. Yeah, Tien would win. So, after that, you know, it's the baldies again. The bald, the bald, versus the bald. <laughs> Basically, Tien versus, uh, um, Krillin. Um, Tien wins easily. But, this was only really because Krillin was weaker than him. And he feels pretty bad about defeating Go um, Krillin so far. Um, so fast. But then Krillin had faked his own, you know, like, uh, faked his own knockout and teleports behind Tien using kind of like the god um, technique that he was taught a little bit from um, Kami and knocks Tien right in like this sore spot right in your back. 
that knocks you out. Knocking Tien to the ground and KOing him. <sighs> Putting that should be that should put his ignorance down a peg. Um freaking Krillin says. <laughs> um so Krillin won that, so that's pretty cool. Um so at the end of that tournament, uh um Tien feels really bad about letting his guard down. <laughs> like that he let um Krillin win that, even though he was stronger, he still he underestimated his opponent. And Krillin makes sure makes sure that he doesn't, you know, make that mistake again. So, um, um, Tien had finally beaten one of his rivals only to acquire a new one, Krillin and him. So basically after this, um, Tien gets the idea to go back up to the tower as he has nowhere else really to go. He would just be living on his own. It's either go up to the tower or deal with launch. Like, which one are you going to pick? So basically he goes up back to the tower and invites Krillin again, as he wants to beat him over and over again. Krillin says that he's good, but Tien is more than, you know, frickin' uh, pushy about it. Um, then frickin' Yamcha also gets in on that, as, you know, um, Tien's tel um, telling him this all telepathically. Um, Yamcha kind of gets in on this kind of call, putting his, arm, his hand on, you know, Tien's shoulder, toning in on this little uh, telepathic call to freaking Krillin, kind of like King Kai, and uh, says, yeah, dude, come on. So they convince um, Yom um, Krillin to come back to, up to, the, to the tower, and uh, Krillin asks if, you know, Roshi wants to come up too. Roshi does not accept, and they all come up to the tower and start training for the last, for the next four years. I believe two years in, Kami says that he has nothing left to teach them. So they all kind of, you know, uh, disband from that place. Basically allowing them all to just, you know, leave. And train on their own. However, instead of training on their own, they train together. So after, after that kind of whole arc and uh, Goku has a kid, you know, I feel like all of the humans would be training together on, like, Roshi's Island or something constant. Anyways, I think that'll have to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye, world. I'll see you soon.